Holy shit, guys, it's a big video today, um, big news. I just looked on the Old School RuneScape Twitter, and uh, 10 minutes ago they made a post, a developer blog, the title, We Have Tools. Now, the whole thing, if you guys um, haven't known, I'm sure most of you do, is that they don't have the uh, interface editors, things like that, map editors, to uh, make God Wars Dungeon. But look at this. Is this a uh, breach of uh, the, the problem, I guess? Um, the lovely guys from our engine team have done it. They've trawled through the archive to find the map editor interface editor we used in 2007, and they've updated them to work again. So they already had the tools. It was all bullshit. All right, well, they had to update them. That's a surprisingly big job. After all, the programs worked in 2007, so why don't they work now? Well, in six years, everything else has moved on a bit. RuneScape has a proper version control system rather than having all the developer artists work in one shared environment, so essential... Libraries aren't kept where they used to be. Also, we haven't used J strings in the code anymore. Mon Philip did a huge job for the launch of Old School Runescape to get those out of the game engine code, and now the team has had to do the same for all the tools. We're running rather different computers that we had in 2007 too, so they're not running like Windows XP anymore. Uh, so let's take a look. We got a magic tree, which isn't too interesting. We got the map editor, so you can see all the little uh, squares like. Here's where like Hans would be or whatever. Here's a little fountain, and I guess they could just edit this like right click and like delete. I hope, I hope, and yeah, that's pretty cool. The map editor. May have noticed, you may have noticed we've been doing sample, simple mapping jobs, the interface jobs for months, such as adding the port serum, the deposit box, or creating Purdue's shop screen. Without the capacity to edit map files or interface files, this has been quite an awkward hack job. RuneScape is able to spawn scenery and NPCs, not by your character's dynamic. So by doing this, whenever someone approaches Port Serim, we can have a new deposit box on the pier. RuneScape is also at, able to edit interfaces dynamically using client-side coding, code a bit like altering a web page via JavaScript, so taking a blank parchment interface and laboriously constructing Purdue's item menu, we can generate a rough-looking shop screen. So this is pretty cool. It's like how they actually develop the game. Uh, looks like a mess compared to what I'm used to coding. But uh, yeah. All right, so we got all this shit. Whoa, what we got looking down there. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. While these techniques let us do simple map changes and construct rough interfaces enough to write the Nightmare Zone mini game, we're still very limited. Uh, for example, the bank interface is a very old format file dating back to 2004 and it doesn't support dynamic editing so we couldn't even add a search button, never mind a more complicated tabbing system. Similarly, there'd be no way to do complicated mapping jobs. It's just maybe removing the will in a stitch. Well, why, why would anyone want to do that? Well, alright, whatever. Um, uh, the, yeah, the will in a stitch came out in like 07. Some people didn't like it, but it wasn't too big of a deal. So what are we going to do with these tools now that we got them? That's up to you. There are quite a f few small-scale updates that have been requested numerous times in the forms, but we'd like to offer something bigger as well. Last week's blog talked about four projects in particular, PvP Worlds, Clan Wars, Wilderness Tag, and the God Wars Dungeon. The response is overwhelming, so we very much like to continue this direction by running the formal polls to see whether 75% of the community supports these updates. Uh, we'll support them. First, we need to decide what we'd offer first. If we were to offer all four updates together in one poll, and they got 75%. There'd be four big projects to develop back to back. With a work queue like that, it would be a very long time before we'd offer anything else, such as the skill tweaks and quality of life updates being requested. Also, your priorities might change after a few weeks. For example, if we were to launch PvP Worlds, the change be king, environment also to affect the demand for wilderness tag. Or if we were to launch the, Gar launch the Gowers Dungeon, you might suddenly need us to offer feedback changes before we start developing another big project. So they're basically saying, like, we don't want to just like, okay, start developing all these things at once because you might want something different in the meantime, like a search button um, on the bank, and we won't have the, the time and resources to do that. Over the next few days, we'll be running an opinion survey to identify the most two popular projects of the four. Cool. Um, be entering in a, a consultation period with you about the, with me personally. Cool. No, I'm just kidding. I think everyone about the big four projects with the two winning projects receiving our attention first. We'll then make our feedback and create design proposals for the basics of the yes-no polls. 
where the usual threshold will be required, blah, blah, blah. Then the two projects can still be offered further down the line if the demand remains high. And it will contain two identical questions. Which of these updates is a priority to you? Okay, so what what's going to happen in the poll, from what I understand, is this up you're going to answer this question twice. It's like basically, ch it, it's kind of dumb you, that you think they would actually just make it where you just check off two of these. Like, which of these is the most important? And this one, right away, I think people want. Gower's Dungeon, that's a big deal. Um, the other stuff are up for grabs. Wilderness Tag, it's kind of like a new sort of thing. In the, it's not new, I know the people are going to say, well, hey, they had that idea back in 2006. Um, but it looks like kind of cool, like the kind of like the Nightmare Zone, where it's like, yeah, it's it's pretty cool, you know, looks looks fun. There's nothing like, oh my god, God wears Dungeon, God Swords, everything like that. Um, so I don't think that'll win, or at least one of the if the two or the four. I think we'll see this someday, but um, not right away. I'd probably vote yes on it. Doesn't seem too big of a deal. Um, I'm not sure I, uh, if their awards were like OP or something. I wouldn't, but PvP worlds and clan wars. I think this is the uh, the toss up. Uh, I don't know why, but a lot of people really love Clan Wars. And it, it's fun. It, it certainly is going to Clan Wars. You know, you go and uh, have your clan to fight people. You get the red portal shenanigans. It's definitely fun. And PV, PvP worlds are, are fun too. And it'd be cool to have the PvP worlds with regular drops. Although, uh, they certainly have to balance... Uh, like, it, it gets me very nervous when they say we can offer like an increased XP gain in PvP worlds, that that seems kind of like, you know, EOC-ish a bit. I don't know, guys. It, it just, I, I would be, both these things seem very cool, but these two things, I just want to make sure they're not going to be overpowered, which I don't think they will be. So you got to gotta show your support for two of the projects. If you only care for one of them, you can vote it for both questions. Oh, I'll talk about that in a second. At the end, we'll add up the results for both questions and thus identify the most popular updates from the list. So I guess if you don't want any of these, you could just vote for... If you don't want any of these four things, you could just vote for the one that's currently losing. But... Oh, here, wait a minute. If you don't want to support them, you know, you participate, you can vote no when they uh, appear in formal yes or no. Let's take a look at the big projects in four details. So if you don't want to vote for these, just don't vote. Which I guess is kind of unfair, but you can just vote no on them when they actually put to the regular poll. Now this is a cool picture. We actually have this. Sh this they probably went through the old coding and just took a look at this. I wonder if this is really an old picture or it's. No, I guess they really took this picture. Let's. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna save that picture when I get the chance. So God Wars. Holy shit! This is a big developer blog, but uh, I guess we'll go through it. Uh, following the initial launch of God Wars, rash issues arose. Some of these are simply bugs or exploits. We would expect to refix them um, if we were to re-release the God Wars and all, all the screw runescape. The boss rooms need to, to be redesigned to minimize save spots. Um, that's fine. I don't want people to save spot the bosses, but um, I wouldn't support the, the Sour Room being smaller. But as for this developer blog, I mean, I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing to you guys, but um, it looks really cool. I'm going to read this developer blog myself, enjoy it, um, but it looks like everything is going really well right now. You know, maybe we'll get God Wars, maybe we'll get Clan Wars, maybe we'll get PvP, maybe we'll get Wildy Tag, and uh, what's this? Some other stuff. I, I mean, I will actually read this, but I realize that reading this whole thing would be Im impractical. Okay, so before I even read this, I hope they, they, they do something about that auto-join clan chat. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Okay, they're going to have to edit the bank interface. Update to withdraw X to make it remember the last quantity. That was a nice update. Um, bank tab is the longer job. What about search? Weeks to write for a bank tab system. Holy shit. Well, what was the other two? Okay, a bank search feature. There you go. Found it. Snipe that out. Yes, that's a big fucking uh, deal. It's probably the biggest day uh, in old school RuneScape history, at least uh, 
other than the re release day or maybe the, the day it was announced. But yeah, guys, just take a look at this. Get uh, hyped. God Wars, not necessarily confirmed. It still has to pass a poll, but I think that's definitely doable. So I will maybe make another video when uh, it comes to a poll. I'm very hyped about this. Uh, I was really happy to see uh, on the Twitter, like, oh, there's a little developer blog out. And I'm like, oh, shit, God Wars Dungeon. Yeah, guys, I mean, everyone, let me know your opinions in the comments. I like to read uh, comments a lot. A lot. Um, also, uh, yeah, check out me on Twitch. I've been streaming quite a bit recently. This is a new headset, the uh, Blantronics Gamecom 780, and it seems pretty nice. The microphone quality seems pretty good. Um, audio quality is pretty good as well. So check out my Twitch down below. Follow me on there uh, for some live streams for a little bit. Uh, I sometimes kind of post like, hey, I'm streaming on YouTube, and sometimes I just don't get around to it. So definitely follow me on there so you know when I'm streaming. Follow me on Twitter as well. That's down below at AndrewAJT62. Same as my YouTube. And uh, like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Also join my friend chat, AndrewAJT62, or clan chat if you're playing old school. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So let me know your opinions on this stuff in the comments. Uh, I want to see how excited you guys are for this. Hopefully, you're as excited as I am. Uh, yeah, God, that's a. I'm just looking at that picture. It's down that that little hole, I guess. <laughs> is uh, is Bandos? Is spiritual mages? Is is armadillo? Is uh, a hilt drop you might get someday? Is is a mass? All that fun stuff. And I have 83 Slayer, so when the Gowers comes out, I can go right to Spiritual Mages and make tons of money. So see you guys later. Do all the stuff I mentioned. I'm not going to list it off again, and I'll see you guys later.